Dick, Dick was a professional shoplifter for 20 years. He was also imprisoned five different times for Dick, but never for sh Dick. Freestanding, strip center, or Dick, all the same to a thief. Not just a professional thief, mind you, but Dick, the board housewife, and kids as well. Stealing for some can be a business, others a hobby, or Dick. Everyone, I'm sure, has Dick and inclinations. Why this store? Why Dick? Better yet, why not? Take a look around. Any greetings? Do the people notice you? Do they approach you? What kind of Dick do they have? Is it locked up, or can you touch it? Can they see you, or is it hidden? All of these thoughts and questions must go through a thief's mind as he strolls through the store. What is it that makes people steal? Money? Greed? Dick thrills? Peer pressure? Better yet, what makes people not steal? As a young man in school, I learned that in order to have a fire, three things must be available. Dick, Dick, and Dick. Remove any of the three, it's impossible to have a fire. Stealing is the same. In order to have a theft, you must have Dick, and we have stores full of it. Someone to steal, and at 10 they'll be here, unless they're already here as employees. And three, you must have the opportunity. The opportunity is the only thing that you can remove. The only thing to concentrate on. Maybe the opportunity will arise today. This lady obviously felt very secure in this almost hidden ravine. People do not shop looking back and forth. Watch how people move. Be aware of what people are wearing. What kind of clothes do they have on? Is it tight fitting? Where can they put Dick? This lady just stole something to stole with. She seems quite pleased with it and quite safe in doing so. She's hidden so well. This young man's strange movement should be a tip off to anyone. This is something that every manager should be concerned with. That no one likes to stand in a line, obviously, but this young gentleman takes it to the extremes. He may have very well paid for that dick, given it a chance. Again, it's the dance. It's almost the ritualistic dance. The strange movements that people make. People simply don't shop this way. To steal a lion, this man has taken the term support hosiery literally. So far in the group of people that we've seen, this is one that I would consider professional. And it's all in how she rolls these things up. Watch how she wraps. She's concerned with getting it in the purse, but watch how she wraps. Watch how she rolls up this next sweater and what she does, which proves beyond a doubt to me this lady's a professional. But watch, the, watch how she does it so carefully and good, tight. No loose ends. And she's done that many, many times, friends. Hi, how you doing? Is there something I can help you find today? That's the only thing in the world that ever stopped me from stealing. Yes, cameras, AES systems do work. They catch people. You've just seen that. 
they not only catch shoplifters, but dishonest employees as well. However, think back of the sequences in the black and white section we've just viewed and try to think of one that could have taken place had a salesperson been present.